Hi guys and welcome back to Amelia Tutorials. So per your request, we are going to show you how our default time slot uh, step configuration works uh, in Amelia and show you a tutorial on how you can set up the time slots for your booking website however you want. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay, um, we've had quite a lot of questions about um, how the uh, time slots are displayed on the front end. So, for example, um, some of you guys came in and said, uh, I cannot create a service which lasts uh, shorter than, I don't know, 15 minutes. So let's say, example, service in the barber area and assigned to one single employee and the duration is 15 minutes. It's not possible to create a five minute appointment. So this is where the default time slot step comes in. This is in general settings and it's set to 15 minutes. The important thing here is that the duration of the service, the work hours of your employees, their breaks and everything else that's related to a duration is linked to the default time slot step. So the duration you want to set has to be dividable by the default time slot step. If you set it to be one minute, you'll be able to create a service which lasts anywhere between one minute and 23 hours, 24 hours. So once we save that and refresh the services page, when you try to add a new service or edit an existing one under the, the duration and pricing, you will be able to select as you can see, a duration between one minute, and this is a very long list, mm -hmm. 24 hours. So if for, uh, there are a lot of use cases for this, so we like to set it up to be 15 minutes because in that way you can create services that last 15 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes, one hour, and so on. And um, the uh, default time slot is also applied to buffer times, any other duration. Everything that mentions uh, a, a duration and time is linked to the default time slot step. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, this is a 30 minute uh, duration. And one more thing that I wanted to show you about the uh, default time slot step is this. If this is enabled, the service duration will be shown on the front end. So. As we can see here, if we choose the beard trim, which lasts 30 minutes, uh, on the front end, when you click an available date, you will see from 9 till 9.30, from 9.30 till 10, and so on. So the duration of the service, 30 minutes, will be shown here. So no one will be able to book between these two time slots. However, if you disable this, this time slot step will be applied to the front end. So when we check out September 30th again, we will see 9 till 9.30, 9.15 till 9.45 and so on. Let me show you that real quick. So again, beard trim, continue. We're not bringing anyone with us. We don't want any extras. We just want to mm -hmm. see how it works. Mm -hmm. So here it is from 9 till 9.30, from 9.15 to 9.45 and so on. So with this option, you give your customers the freedom to choose the time based on their free time in so if there are available time slots. If I was to book this appointment from 9.30 until 10, the duration of the appointment will be applied to all surrounding time slots. So since we booked the 9.30 appointment and the duration of the service is 30 minutes, um, when we click September 30th again, uh, we won't be able to book anything that overlaps with that. So 9.30 is still there since this uh, service can accept multiple people. But 9.15 is gone, 9.45 is gone. So the next available time slot is 10. The duration of the service blocks the time in between these two time slots. I hope that's clear enough. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, don't uh, hesitate to ask. Of course, leave your questions in the comments or any other suggestions on what you want to see from us or any tutorials that you want us to film. We will gladly do it. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye bye.